hello everybody and thank you for coming back to the channel and yes we're coming back we're going to be talking about celebrity big brother and we're going to be talking about how uh carson chrisley need to just uh, cut cynthia bailey loose pay attention more to the game so he can win <coughs> but we're going to be doing a little messiness okay and we're talking about him so we're talking about somebody kosher we can relate to and he's a good person and individual okay <coughs> So that's why you see us off off in the plane. All right. But going back to <coughs> excuse me, too fab. <coughs> Got something in my throat, y'all. But anyway, like I said, going back to him, um, he likes to take up for women or women he deemed to be important and he like. And as we said on my last video, Tarbridge is trying to get in her ass and all this kind of stuff. And him and Cynthia was talking about it. And it seems like the talk that him, meaning Carson and uh, Cynthia were having, she found some new strength to go and talk to uh, Tar Bridges about what had upset her about why she voted the way she did. And I'm like, most women that definitely know themselves how they say know thyself before you can go try to get somebody else together <coughs> she didn't know herself she still don't know herself she's still trying to get to know herself at 54 years old but since carson uh really do like her and you know like i could say cynthia be serving fashion and face on a daily okay unless she's at home she don't have on her makeup or anything like that and sometimes you have to be natural so i give that to her and any other woman that wears a lot of makeup or makeup period give your breath your breath give your face enough time to breathe let the pores open back up but honey the hot mess is lamar odom teddy mellencamp cynthia baby and um tawdry all of need to go Okay, so they can make room for Carson to see who else he need to get rid of. And it's probably that Misha chick, but I guess he's playing the game the way he wants to play it. But I'm like, don't play it too cautiously, okay? Don't play it too uh, frivolously as well. Be careful. Know what you're doing. Because you can ex actually put your own self on the chopping block without knowing by being too friendly, okay? And one thing we know about Cynthia that you're trying to protect at this time maybe because she's a lady she might remind you of somebody that you hold dear uh in your family or in your friendships Cynthia's not cunning she's not conniving she don't know how to be manipulative even though people manipulate her very easily she has no endurance and she don't know when to pounce when it's time to pounce on somebody verbally not physically but honey, I think this gentleman is gone. I think his name was Chris. Uh, but yeah, them four need to go. They all got to go. They're not showing any type of potential at this time. At this time, especially Odom and Cynthia. I think they got rid of him, or he got rid of himself. Um, I don't know what his name was. Hell, it might be Chris. I might got the other. Excuse me, man's name wrong. But I did watch this yesterday, and everybody kind of like was up there real tight. And I was just hoping and wishing for a 54-year-old Cynthia to hold on. I know Candy told her about these little obstacles or, or courses of uh, testing your endurance that's going to be put on you. And I'm like, girl, come on now. Come on. A little bit of Carson was the only one that survived. Cynthia slid down and fell off the oil. Uh, the little thing that was holding her up. She just slid and fell off. I'm like, girl, you could have injured your back. You could have injured your leg. with falling off like that. You know what I'm saying? Other people just jump. You know, because it's not that far uh, from the platform where they were being held up. But she's like, oh, I can't take it no more. I'm like, you never can take it. You never can force yourself to be better than you were the day before. You can never do that. She did that on Real Housewives of Atlanta. That's why I was sick of her. I'm like, you got to choose a side one day in your life. Everything is not going to be neutral. Neutral. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to choose a side one day. That one day hadn't came yet. And that's why I'm so pissed off with her. She's just pissed poor. Pissed poor as an individual. But, you know, and celebrity brother, <coughs> the cameras are always watching. 
they ain't gonna give us all the feedback they're not gonna give us the snips and clip it's here and there but big brother's always watching itself i hope big brother ain't watching when they end up taking a bath or taking a shit you know what i'm saying or even a piss they, that, that's just not called for but anyway <clears throat> we can drag them for that if that ever came to be uh something that they do do and i'm sure they would have a lot of lawsuits as well but anyway um excuse me for my sniffing and all but it seems like my um congestion is coming back guys but you know i'm a sign and suffer so it is what it is okay i learned to deal with it with how during my whole lifetime really my it started acting up in my high school days where i started having a lot of um well, not high school. I think it was middle school. Or well, not necessarily middle school because we didn't have middle school. We had elementary straight to high school. So probably when I was like 10 or 12 years old, my sinuses really started bothering me. And hadn't let loose from me yet. Okay? But I, I just find it very dear that um, Carson wants to uh, take up for Cynthia here and there. But that's going to damage his position on how he's going to play the game. So I want him to get, the, get his head in the game. But anyway... When I was talking about uh, Carson and Cynthia from a, a little article that Two Fab had put out, just to make reference of what I'm talking about, and I think her name is Sheena, because Sheena and Carson and uh, Cynthia were talking in a room, and they were trying to pretty much, you know, say what they're gonna say, and then Misha was, I'm not Misha, but Shauna was telling uh, Cynthia don't talk so loud, and you know, Cynthia was like getting all ten cent in her okay well y'all call it 50 cent i call it 10 cent she still ain't showed me the other 40 percent to show she deserves that name but anyway uh carson had talked with her and they were just in the room talking and stuff and she's gonna get loud she's like i don't care if they hear me i want them to hear me i said well they don't go on out the room go to their door knock on it and tell them if y'all listen to me this is what i said okay that's a bold ass chick right there that knows her worth okay but you didn't do that something and if they had said something to you you'll be like should i in your mind you would be playing the game should i cuss them out and, and make my other um uh, friends think I'm worthy of their friendship and their alliance or should I just let it ride <laughs> and I'm like let it ride Cynthia we don't want to see you exert yourself and because it, it might just you know put you out the show you know with some health concerns okay we, we don't want you to do that but we do want you to get out the show and go check on your hubby okay because like in the Real Housewives of Atlanta uh Kenya was saying this that and the third about you she was uh uh going on you know saying other things and people were coming back i think it was portia and tanya was trying to get you to turn on kenya and uh they were giving you little snips and pieces of what you know kenya was saying about you and trying to you know break up y'all friendship or your alliance on the real housewives of atlanta and you were like i, I don't know but if she said that i'm gonna have to get her straight i'm gonna have to talk with her we're gonna have, to have a conversation and when that shit came to fruition you didn't do shit still so that's what i'm saying so they like to be uh in a sense, how you throw your hands at a glass house, then hide your hands. That's Cynthia all day, all day long. Okay, uh, and she don't get her so-called friends together. She try to do it in private, and like we don't mind. They embarrass you in, in 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 public. You need to embarrass them and get them together in public. Okay, so we'll know you're not a, a person to be taken care of. I mean, taken advantage of. But we see. You ain't, you, ain't, you ain't about that, Cynthia. You ain't about nothing, girl. But anyway, from this article, it said, Cynthia managed to walk away from the fight, but after stewing about it for a moment with Carson Crisley, whom she was sitting next to on the block, she decided that she couldn't just let things lie there. In her mind, why was Todd's word worth more than hers? And that's exactly what she asked. So she went back and started more mess with Todd. And then that made Todd go in her face and start cursing and shouting at her. Okay? Even though he had admitted to Odom and Carson later on, he wasn't finna hit her. He knew better. But at the time, Cynthia didn't know no better. Cynthia don't know too much of anything. Okay? She'd be ready to call the cops on you for verbally assaulting her. Okay? That's just how dense she is. Because I tell you, she's not, she don't know how to manipulate people. But people can manipulate her all day, every day. As long as the day is long. You hear what I'm saying? So I want Carson to just break free of all his alliances he has with Cynthia. Because Cynthia going down. Whether he pulls the plug or somebody else. But they're going to take Cynthia out. And it wouldn't be surprisingly to think that Shauna wouldn't be the one to say, take Cynthia down. Before Carson can get a chance. Or even so Todrick. And we already know 
Lamar Odom ain't got no horse in the race that they're running on this Big Brother celebrity show. He would take everybody down and then trade them in for a piece of smoke. <laughs> we have to get a little smoky smoke, and I ain't talking about weed, okay? I am not talking about weed. But that's just the type of uh, um, vibe he gives me when I think about him and I look at him. He just seems like he, he got to get another hit somewhere so he keep up his uh funny uh demeanor which doesn't seem uh authentic at all okay doesn't seem authentic at all but that's all i had i'm just trying to put up a little warning sign for uh carson to not get so invested in cynthia because if it came down to it cynthia would turn on him if they were the last three people standing she would vote carson out unless it was somebody else she didn't like but right now she really is liking carson so if of course it was between them two, she would vote for Carson to be out. She wouldn't take the high road and say, you know what, you want to give your money to charity. And I know I want to spend my money. So I'm going to vote on myself to be, you know, eliminated and let you win. You think she would do that, y'all? Hell no. I tell you right now, hell to the no, no, no. Since he would not do that for Carson. Even though Carson would more than likely do it for her. Because it just seems like that's his kind of spirit. That's the aura I get from him. Just his whole character and demeanor. Uh, it's just like happy, happy, happy. He wants everybody to be happy. He wants everybody to be blessed. And he wants to show love all the way around. That's what I get from Carson. Okay, kind of what I got from Richard Simmons. You know, they just this happy-go-lucky person, and they got it all, and they got it all honestly, and they felt like they need to spread the love. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing to them. If they lost it all, they still gonna be happy. They just won't have to be. Um, they probably won't be as flamboyant as they are because they need to get to another gig. You know what I'm saying? To get them back to something similar to what they were used to. Because some people love the la lavish lifestyle and then they get bored with it. But they don't necessarily want to trade it in for a lesser model. You see what I'm saying? They want to continue to do and live like they are, but bless people uh, accordingly as well. So I guess that's why I'm, I'm uh, drawn to him in that aspect. But y'all, that was a hot mess. That house is a hot mess. I will be um, looking at Celebrity Big Brother until Carson is gone. If he don't make it, because the rest of them don't, I, I can't get anything off of it. And like I said, I don't think Cynthia Bailey is going to make it past two more uh, evictions. <laughs> She's she not going to make it. She ain't going to be in the top four. If she do, it would surprise the hell out of me. Okay. But I do know I don't think she's going to win because she, she's not cunning enough. She's not conniving enough. Okay. And she, even though she thinks she is, she really not. But uh, that's all I have for this video, y'all, of the review of uh, Big Brother Celebrity 3 on what I feel I want to talk about. And y'all get down in the comments. Let me know how y'all think Cynthia's fairy and do y'all think Carson should be taken up for her every time something goes down. All right, guys. I'll see y'all next video. Bye-bye.